Hello, Rainbow Six Gamers. Welcome to the first take of this bank callout guide. Uh, quick disclaimer, uh, there's going to be a lot of different names for a lot of different rooms that a lot of different people use. And this callout guide is to help you understand what all of those names might be, but then also to help you pick the one that is going to be the most relevant. So a lot of people might call certain rooms certain things. Uh, this guide is mostly to help you know what you should call a room in order for the, the, there to be the least amount of confusion when you do play with randoms. So keeping that in mind, let's move on. Uh, so first, starting with the exterior, we've got parking front and way over there is jewelry front. That's a uh, jewelry store sign right there. And those are the easy ones because they're on the uh, spawn selection. Uh, up here on the top of this uh, little roof is just parking garage. So if you tell somebody they're going up parking or they're on parking garage, uh, people use that to get angles through these windows over there on the people in CEO. So on parking garage is a great call out for when people are up there. When people are repelled on these windows, repelled west windows of lobby because that's on the other side of this wall is the lobby. So repelled lobby windows is a great call out for that. Going around here to the front, front door leads to ATMs. So, and if they're in ATMs on a certain end, just say west or east ATMs. Coming from there into lobby. So lobby is a humongous room. There's a lot of different places that people can be sitting and hiding, whatever. Uh, there's not really specific callouts for any of the areas on in lobby so just be use your compass and do what makes sense so if they're way over here in the northwest corner northwest corner of lobby uh, if they're at the bottom of the stairs say bottom of lobby stairs if they're under the stairs say under lobby stairs <coughs> southwest corner etc so on and so forth over here is the loan office uh, that's what's called in the compass and you should also call it that out here is the garage roof uh, you can also just call it outside of loan office and people will know what you're talking about and say outside south of loan office also works this whole area right here is kind of under the balcony uh, people will generally just say by the teller's desk so this whole thing right here is the teller's desk so outside teller's desk is a good call out for that uh, if they're inside, inside teller's desk. That's the call out for that. Um, coming into here, this room is called teller's office on the compass. And if you call it that, there will be very little confusion. Um, the thing you have to be careful with for this whole area though, is you can't just say the word tellers and expect people to know what you're talking about. Because this room is called tellers on the compass and this room is called teller's office. However, when most people say tellers, they're thinking about this room because that's, um, that's like the shorthand for the bomb site when it's here. So people call it tellers and archives. So if you say tellers, people might think about this room. People might also think about that room out there. So call that teller's desk, call this teller's office, and you won't have a problem. Um, there aren't really specific areas for um, this room, but there's a desk here. So be careful when you call out teller's desk because teller's desk can also mean that room out there. So call call this in teller's office by the desk. This room is called archives. Again, not really any uh, specific call outs for the areas in this room. Uh, just use your compass and uh, do what makes sense. Uh, this whole area out here is called skylight stairwell. Uh, there are a lot of different callouts for the specific areas of it. Um, you will hear very occasionally uh, people call the upper skylight up here. You might occasionally hear the word heaven. Uh, that's a, I think, a specific callout to a pro league team that uses that callout. Uh, call, but you should be calling this upper skylight and that down there lower skylight. Skylight on the stairs is the call out for when they're on the stairs. If you just say skylight stairs, they m they might not know what you're talking about because that kind of references this entire area. Um, so skylight on the stairs, 
or at the top of skylight stairs or at the bottom of skylight stairs. Uh, just use your wording specifically so people don't think you're talking about this whole general room. Um, lower skylight behind the couches is a good call out for when people are kind of creeping up behind the couches. Um, you got to be specific about which one you're talking about though, so just use your compass. Uh, this room right here on the uh, compass is called electrical room. You should, you can use the uh, electrical room for this uh, call out. However, uh, I find it the least confusing when you just say back alley uh, exit, because right out here is the back alley exit, and people like to run out and spawn people, spawn peek the people who uh, spawned in back alley. So if you say back alley exit or back back alley entrance. Um, people won't have any confusion. Uh, you can totally call it electrical though, and most people will know what you're talking about. Uh, but if you think there might be any confusion, just call it back alley. Uh, you can even call it back alley run out or back alley exit. Uh, moving over here, this area with the kind of checkered uh, floor here, uh, call this kitchen. But I'm just talking about this specific area. This you can call kitchen, this over here on the compass is called staff room. You can call it staff or you can call it cafeteria. Either one works just fine. Um, staff is also kind of the general word for this entire room, including the kitchen. So if you're trying to be specific, say kitchen, say cafeteria tables, say uh, staff couches, for if you're talking about that area. Moving over to here is the printer room. So printer, occasionally you might hear somebody call it paper, um, but most commonly is printer and you should call it printer. Uh, this room right here is just open area. Uh, if you just say open, 99% of people are going to know what you're talking about. Uh, there's not really any specific callouts for areas in this room either, so you got to use your compass and be smart about it. Uh, you can say under the hatch. You can say uh, northwest on the hatch if you're talking about that. This room in here is admin office on the compass, and you can call it admin. Most people will know what you're talking about. You can also call it small office, and people will generally know what you're talking about. Um, if, if you've got, like, say you're joining someone in and you've got teammates, top floor, teammates, first floor, uh, try to be as specific as you can. Most people will know what you're saying if you say admin, but if there's any confusion, just say small office by open area. This hallway over here is just the, uh, it's kind of split up a little bit. Uh, there's a few things you could call it. Office hallway is kind of a terrible call out. Don't call it office hallway. Call it first floor hallway. Eleva you can call it elevator hall. First floor elevators, be specific there because there's elevators on in the basement, first floor and second floor. So first floor elevators is a good call out for this hallway. If they're in the elevator, say in the elevator and say which, left or right. Uh, this can be first floor uh, main stairs hall. And you can say first floor uh, beepers by open area. Uh, beepers being the metal detectors. You can say beepers or metal detectors. Uh, these right here are the main stairs. Uh, there is a skylight on them, but don't call them skylight stairs. Uh, these are the main stairs. Those are the skylight stairs. Going up. At the top of main stairs, there's second floor elevator hallway. And then once you get over to here, it's just top of main stairs. This area or this room right here is stock trading. If you call it stock trading, there won't be any confusion. Occasionally you'll hear people call it stock. Um, if you're playing with total randoms, I would just encourage you to say the whole thing, stock trading, uh, just because the word stock is a call out for multiple other rooms. None on this map, but like it could be confusing. So don't just say stock, say stock trading <coughs> or stock exchange. Uh, stock hallway is this right here. This right here is janitor hallway from about here to there. So janitor hallway, because this right here is the janitor's closet. And that goes all the way to, uh, to upper skylight. Uh, this out here is the patio. Uh, some people will call it terrace, which is what it is on the compass, but most people just call it the patio. Uh, you can totally call it either one though. Nobody will be confused. Um, so from janitors, come into this room which has about I think it has three names and, and honestly any one of them is fine uh, probably 
probably the easiest one to remember is long desk just because it has a long desk in it and it's the only room in the map that has this giant long desk um, but you, you will also hear it called conference room and meeting room any of those three are fine uh, and if someone doesn't know what you're talking about just use another one of those and then they'll probably get it um, moving over to here uh, these four rooms can be a little confusing at first. This one is the easiest. It's just called CEO. Um, you can say CEO by the desk. And then right here, I blew it up earlier, but there's a, um, uh, there's a bookcase right here that's tipped over that blocks your vision of these doorways. Uh, if you say behind the, behind the bookcase or behind the shelf, this is the area that they're probably talking about. Uh, this little room right here, uh, it doesn't really have a name that people call it most of the time. Uh, the thing that I call it, especially when I'm solo queuing, is just window hallway. Because it's a little hallway with a bunch of windows. And most people seem to know what I'm talking about, but there isn't really a community decision best name to call that, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this room right here can be called one of a couple things. A lot of people call it couches, just because it has a bunch of couches in it, but you gotta be a little bit careful because there is a couch in CEO office. Um, so if you just say couch, they might think you're talking about that couch or any of these three couches. I think there might even be a couch over in that room, yeah, maybe over there. Um, uh, you can call this couches, but it's a little easier if you sometimes just call it uh, lounge or CEO lounge. Uh, CEO couches is gets a little confusing too. So just feel your teammates out and kind of figure out what they want you to call it or what they know. Um, this isn't an exact science because a lot of times uh, the best call out is just whatever your teammates know, and they might not know what you know. So calling this couches or middle office is sometimes what I also call it because it's wedged between the CEO office and the front desk office. So middle room, couches, feel it out. Uh, this is front desk. Uh, you should just call it front desk because that's what everybody knows it as, or, or CEO front desk if you want to be really specific. Uh, this whole balcony area, you can call it uh, lobby balcony, uh, but what a lot of people are calling it nowadays is banana. Uh, that's just what the pro league uh, casters are calling it, and that's what I think a lot of pro teams call it. Um, so you can call it uh, lobby uh, or top floor balcony, lobby balcony, or banana. And I would encourage you to just use banana. And if somebody asks you what the hell you're talking about, say it's this because we need to get this call out. Uh, we need to make it popular. So these are the lobby stairs coming up to here. Just call them lobby stairs. Uh, don't use any other, don't call them spiral stairs because just don't, it's lobby stairs. Um, top floor elevator, second floor elevator is kind of the name for this whole little section, including inside the elevator. So going down to the basement. So at the bottom of main stairs is this little room, just call it bottom main stairs. Coming out here to the garage, this is what you should be calling garage ramp, even though technically on the compass, that area way out there is called garage ramp. Um, this is what is more important to have a specific name because people play here all the time, like say they're pushing site and they're on garage ramp. Uh, you could be a little more specific and just say garage ramp, like pushing the doorway. So. Uh, in garage, there's a few different places that should have names, but really don't. So if you say uh, coming into garage by the police car, if, if somebody says police car, they're talking about this. If they say Jeep, they're probably talking about this. Um, armored cars, there's two of them. So if you're going to call one of those out, be specific. Uh, this is the more common one because people play behind it and play around it all the time. Um, so if, if you're trying to make a call out about somebody who's by this one, be specific about that. Say it's the one in the northwest side of garage. Uh, ramp and stairs. If you say garage stairs, that's a fine call out for that. Garage ramp is this right here. Um, this right out, right out here really should have a better name, but most people don't have a name for it. Uh, I think the best call out is just locker hallway. Like if you say secure hallway, which is what it is on the compass, I think it actually extends all the way to here. Yeah, secure hallway. Don't ever say secure hallway. That, that means nothing to anyone. Um, so if you say locker hallway, that you're talking about this. Um, 
it can be a little bit confusing because this right here is considered a hallway to, by some people. And if you say locker hallway, they might think you're talking about this. So if you're talking about this and you think there might be confusion, say locker hallway under the sprinkler. And if you're talking about this, I would say locker entrance because this is an entrance to lockers, this room right here. Uh, this whole room uh, is also kind of in a bad place where there's not any great names for it. Uh, vault lobby is what it's called on the compass, but I've literally never heard anybody call it that. Uh, most people just call it by the elevators, uh, kind of like the, the hallways that are above it. So if you say um, basement elevators or basement by the elevators, everyone will know what you're talking about. This right here, uh, this room also kind of doesn't have a name. It's it's not technically vault because this is vault, but this room, if you say vault drop, everyone will know what you're talking about because this drop right here is the drop that you do if you're trying to get into vault. So if you say vault drop room, people will know what you're talking about. Um, occasionally you might hear the word jail thrown around in this game a lot. Uh, if you hear the word jail or bars, they're talking about these bars right here. So if you hear somebody say vault bars, uh, there's a chance they're talking about this, but there's also a slight chance they're talking about those bars over there. So just suss it out. Figure out, figure out which one they're talking about. So going through vault into this room, this room is called cash, and you should call it cash. Um, this room over here is called gold because of the gold bars. Um, this whole area is sometimes called gold or cash. Uh, this little section, this hallway between them, some people call it this section gold, some people call it cash. Um, generally, what people mean when they say cash is this whole area, but if people are saying gold, it means they're definitely back in here. Uh, but not all the time, so be careful about that. Um, honestly, if if someone's like droning you in and they tell you cash, just you're going to be looking here first anyway, so you know they're not there unless you see them. This room right here, again on the compass, says secure hallway. Do not call it that. This room is called red because it's red. Uh, this room right here is CCTV. You can call it that. Uh, you can shorten it to CC. People will still know what you're talking about. Uh, this particular section right here um, is occasionally called default. Uh, or default plant spot, because when the site is down here and the bomb is sitting right here, people will call this default plant because this is the easiest and best place to plant the bomb or plant the diffuser. Um, so if you hear default, it's usually people talking about a default plant spot. This is server. Uh, there are a couple little nuanced things about server. This back here is a very common place for people to play. They'll be holding it, watching people come in from dirt tunnel. Um, so if you can come up with a name for your, your team that you play with all the time, I would come up with a name for this. Uh, some people just call it behind the server. Uh, some people call it server stack. Uh, if you're trying to tell somebody that there's somebody back here, say there's one in server behind the big server. That's usually what I just call it, and nobody's really ever confused about that. Um, but if you play with a, con a consistent team, you should come up with a name for this and call it that all the time. Uh, these stairs over here are the blue stairs. So there's bottom of blue, on the blue stairs, and then top of blue. So anytime you're talking about blue stairs, be sp as specific as you can be. And this out here is dirt tunnel or sewer. Uh, you can call it either one, and either one can mean either of these. Uh, so if someone says they're pushing dirt, it means they could still be out here. Uh, dirt and sewer can be used interchangeably meaning to mean the entire tunnel. So dirt or sewer, totally fine. At the at the sewer entrance is right here. So uh, also there's a couple soda machines on this map. So if you say soda, uh, every once in a while you'll hear people say like soda machine. They're either talking about this or they're talking about one of, uh, I think there's only one other soda machine and it's up there in the janitor hallway or right outside of stock exchange. So if you're soda uh, and you don't know which one they're talking about, just ask for clarification. So I believe that has covered everything. Uh, if there's anything I missed, throw it in the comments and I'll try to uh, throw it in in annotations or in the description, one or the other. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. I hope it helped.